Street Stock Heat 6 will look like this. Paul Briggs and Tim Matthews on row 1. Mick Hammond and Brian Jackson, row 2. Jeremy Ferris, Ethan Genev, row 3. Peter Herbert, David 4, row 4. Cody Avens, Ben Ferris, row 5. And Matthew Jones and Jack Hunter on row 6. And this one will go the traditional way. It's this 24 and Tim Matthews, Michael Hammond and Ethan Genev also in this one. It's Peter Herbert and David 4. This is a stacked heat race. And it's showing straight away from the start. Genev got a cracker, so did Michael Hammond, but they're all chasing the 12 for Paul Briggs. Well, they, they, I don't know how long this one's going to go because the Magna's not going anywhere. It's coughing and spluttering. It's going to be a lap down before a lap's completed. Passing flag had to come out at the very start of the race. Can you believe it? So Paul Briggs leads down in the turn number one. The Magna has uh, made the uh, corner not quite as wide as it should be. Paul Briggs leads at this stage. Michael Hammond in second place. Ethan Genev third. Back then to Matthews in fourth. David falls up there in fifth place. And then Avon's in sixth. And then back to Peter Herbert in seventh. You're right, uh, Morgan. It is a very stacked affair. And Genev has gone around the outside of Michael Hammond into second. It doesn't happen too often, but the last time we'll hear for the series, it was Ethan Genev that led the early onset, but due to a flat tyre, couldn't make the distance. But the little magnet that won is probably not going to. As Geneva has gone right up against the wall again, he might not be able to do it this time around with Ferris about to go another lap down. So he's completed one lap. These drivers now going past him are on their third as here comes Hammond back for the five back. So come down the back straight, Paul Briggs by two car lengths on Ethan Genev, who is half a car length ahead of Michael Hammond. And uh, that car at the back, uh, Ben Ferris, is just actually getting in the way now. As they move down the main straight as Briggs, Genev, Hammond, and gap back then to David Fall. Fifth place is Avens, Herbert is next, and Matthews. Jackson is next. We've got a challenge now for the lead. Ethan Genev is coming up on the outside of uh, Paul Briggs. That is for our race leader. Right there with him is Michael Hammond. Nearly three across the track. Ethan Genev has gone very wide. He'll go back to third. There was contact between Briggs and Genev as they went past the line. You can see the damage on the right rear of Ethan Genev, but this now allows the seven to lay the attack. He might not try the outside line where Genev did, but he may well give a merry old dance to Briggs as Ferris looks like he's finally started to clear the throat of the 32 it's Hammond that's the quickest on the track and it shows as he gets to the inside yes yeah, so he takes the lead away from Paul Briggs who will fight back on the outside now the first car is now half track high getting a little bit more speed maybe the Magna takes four laps to wind up as they move down the back straight it's Paul Briggs now doing the chasing they've dropped off Ethan Genev back then to David Fall in fourth back in fifth place at this point in time is Peter Herbert then Cody Avens a long gap back to the rest of them as we've got one lap to go this will put the seven on the front for the 20 lap feature race and if it was any show of what we saw early on as we got one car all out of shape but it's not going to be no harm no foul to our race leaders as Genev is really starting to slow and could come into the clutches of David Fall but Michael Hammond wins and will start off pole second will be Paul Briggs second a third chance will be Heath and Genev with an ailing four. Then it's Fall, Herbert, Cody Avens. Tim Matthews will be the next one through from Brian Jackson. Matthew Jones will be nine. Tenth will be Jeremy Ferris, Jack Hunter, and Ben Ferris will only complete one of the laps. Oh, sorry, five of the laps, not one of the laps. Been yeah. lapped three times. But Street Stocks put on a blinder in that one. Hammond, Briggs and Fall. Yeah, just outside the track record, two incidentally, 249.362. So it's one and a half seconds outside the track record.